everyone welcome back to my channel my name is vivian today we're talking about coronavirus concession as regards visa applications in the uk now if you are in the uk and your visa expired between the 24th of january and the 31st of july you have been given a grace period from the 1st of October to the 31st of October 2020 to leave the UK. However, if you do intend to leave the UK and you're not able to do so due to some circumstances beyond your control, you should apply for exceptional assurance to the UK VI coronavirus team so that you will not be affected in your future applications to UK. Now, you are not granted extra leave and you are by no means given extra leave, but however, by applying, you'll be given exceptional assurance so that your future applications to the UK will not be affected. Now, if you do intend to stay in the UK to apply to regularize your stay in the UK, either through family route or any other route or spousal route, you should apply to UK government before the end of the 31st of August. Otherwise, you plan to leave the UK. If you plan to leave the UK and your visa expires between 1st of September and 31st of October 2020, you may also apply for this additional time called the exceptional assurance. So this exceptional assurance applies to those whose visa expired before 31st of July and also those whose visa expired between 31st of October. Now you can contact the UK VI through this contacting the Corona Immigration Team and fill in the form and they'll be given exceptional assurance to stay in the UK. This does not grant you additional leave, but it just means that you will not be affected in your future applications and your visa validity will remain the same once you are giving a feedback on your exceptional assurance. If you did not apply for exceptional assurance before 31st of August, you should find your way out of the uk if you're waiting for the outcome of this session assurance you do not you need to email the uk vi because the conditions of the visa will still remain same throughout all the period except you are rejected your visa remains the same and if you have spent all the time given to you in your exceptional assurance you have to reapply again to the online form for extension of your exceptional assurance i'll give you them a clear reason why you want that change or you need more time in the uk and you have to give them new supporting evidence which could be presence of covid infection or covid infection and say tree standing in your place where you are staying at the moment now whatever you are doing until this time your visa still remains valid and your conditions do not change if you intend to stay in the UK, you should apply for the necessary leave and regularize your stay in the UK by submitting your application from, even if you had to apply from your home, home country, you can apply from within your UK. Terms of your leave will remain the same once your application is decided. If you're switching into work or study routes, you will be able to commence work or study before your application is even considered. If your leave expires after the 1st of August, you can apply your, for a new visa from the uk but you need to show that your application is urgent probably for a new job or a new course of study and you need to pay the fees that are required now if you've overstayed your leave between 20 january and 31st of august there is no further adverse effect however if you did not apply for exceptional assurance before 31st of august you must make arrangements to leave the uk now application and service centers in the UK are now open even all over the world. However, if you have not had your service center opened, you can find that other service centers are close to you to make your application, especially for your visitor's visa. You can make these applications from outside your home country in a country where you have ability to go in and out of. And this concession is in place until it is further reviewed. You also expected to give your fingerprints. However, you can also be invited through an email to use the IDV app. Now, for English language testing, English language testing centers are open all over the world. You can go ahead and do your English language testing. However, there are also concessions that could allow you to go on with your application without submitting your English language results. If probably you could not do them just because of the coronavirus. And probably due to restrictions in the area where you live there are also concessions in tier one entrepreneur visa and for the funds needed for this application for instance the 12 month period 
and having a multiple of jobs are already being considered such that you can apply even without having a full amount of money or not having a full amount of staff as far as this has happened after 31st of May during the coronavirus lockdown. Now for a student also waiting for sponsorship, you can begin your, ap your application, also start your course of study as far as you have your CAS, your sponsor, and as far as you've applied and provided all your supporting documents, you can commence your studies as at when due until you receive your visa. The same goes for tier two visa applications. You should have a certificate of sponsorship so into your application, and you can also start that job while waiting for your visa to be sent through. The same goes for those who are applying for extensions in their visas under the NHS. You can continue working during this period after your visa has expired, as far as you fall into the category of those whose visas have expired before the first of October, and then you can get your extra one year extension you can continue working even while you're waiting for these extensions even if your visa does not come your right to work is not affected if you're a pre-registered nurse you're expected to pass your examination before may 2021 the 1st of may 2021 you're expected to pass your OSCE examination now if you are outside of the uk you should also find out before you travel the changes wherever you're going so you're not stuck on the way super priority services and priority services are available in some locations so you have to find out before you check out if you're able to get the services where you are applying for your visas these priority services enables you to get your visa within a week or even within two days of applying but this service is not available everywhere however you're able to choose the services when you are booking your biometric appointment if your VAC center is closed, you can apply for all other UK visas from the country you are living in. But you can apply for a visa visa from any UK VAC. Now, if your VAC center is closed due to coronavirus restrictions, you should apply online and select the VAC in another country to submit your application and biometrics. You will need to make sure you are permitted to travel to that country beforehand. You will be able to make any type of UK application. You must select the country where you would like to submit your biometrics at the start of your application. If you have already submitted your application through the Access UK and now intend to submit your new application at a different VAC from the one selected in the application, you will need to make a new application and select the VAC where you will submit your application. You need to pay the fee associated with the new application and request a refund of your earlier application. This temporary concession will be reviewed by 30th of November 2020. Now, your documents are being sent back through your VAC centers. Priorities are made for customer returns on their passports. So, for many of you who are waiting for your passports to come back, be assured that the UKVI is ensuring that all passports are sent back to their owners through their VAC. So you need to call your VAC to arrange your collection or wait for the email requesting you to come pick up your VAC. Or if you pay for a delivery service, it will be sent straight to your home. Those are the concessions I do have for you. Other changes as regards to your visas. For your replacement visa to come to the UK, you have to contact the Coronavirus Help Centre. And you need to include your name and apply for replacement visa. As you all know, the UK is now on a tier 3 lockdown system and several cities are on lockdown, such as Manchester, Nottingham and London possibly. So before you do travel, make sure you check and find out which cities are in lockdown so you can plan your travels appropriately. However, visas are still being applied for, biometrics are still being taken and visas are being, still being issued and be delivered to their applicants. So do well to apply for your visa to come to the UK. If you have any questions concerning your visas or any other questions, do us ask. I'll do my best to answer. I hope you did like this video. If you like this, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now.